Hello there. Today I thought I'd do a video on my fountain pens. I don't want to do a full review, I just want to give you an overview of the different pens I have, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, that kind of stuff. So, let's start. Wherever I go, I take two pen pouches with me. So I've got a big one and a smaller one. Let's start with the big one. In there i got four pens, which are not necessarily my favorite pens. I switch them around a little bit. Usually I carry one uh, say more exclusive, a bit more expensive pen like this. This is a uh, Visconti Opera Elements. The red thing, I like it a lot. It has a sort of square shape with these chiseled edges, which is, I think, very nice. The interesting thing is it has an interesting opening system, which is sort of click. And then it snaps shut, and then these chiseled edges are aligned perfectly, which is very nice. It also has this nice clip, which can actually move. Can you see that? So you can open it up, and that way it won't damage your shirt pocket or whatever you carry in. It's got a medium nib, which is 14 karat gold. I like it a lot. You can't really see it, I think, but it doesn't matter. I'll upload some pictures. It has a very good grip section. Generally speaking, I hold my pens a little high, which is always a bit unpleasant, because generally speaking, you have these sharp edges and the good thing is if you have a really nice tapered grip section like this then that's not an issue because your fingers can't slide up. It takes a converter, the converter is supplied with it and this converter has screw threads which I've never seen on any other brand I have to say. So you can't just push it in, you have to screw it into the grip section which make sure you can't accidentally pull it out and send ink flying all over your desk which I like a lot because yes, it did happen to me once. Visconti, nice pen. The next one in here is the Noodlers, whatever. I'm not sure what this pen is called. I got it for free with a bottle of Nikita. I really like that ink, by the way. It's very nice red. That's the one that's also in here. As you can see, it's eyedropper converted, so you can just fill it with an eyedropper with a, an ink syringe. Um, if I fill it up, up till there. Then after a week, the ink level is there. Now I have to say I do write a lot, uh, but it's a fairly wet pen. It comes with the nib creeper nib, nib. Sorry if I understand correctly, which doesn't have a vent hole. See, there's no breathing hole, as is the case in many, uh, in most fountain pens. I take it. It's a bit of a classical design. It works really well. You don't have to put on any pressure. I just put some ink in my finger, you see, that's what I'm talking about. You don't have to put any pressure, just, you know, slide it along something that will write. Very nice pen, especially considering this was free. That's, that's amazing. Another noodler's pen. The infamous Flex in the... What was the... What was the name of this deco? Cardinal Darkness? I, I'm sorry, I'm not really sure. It's red and black. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. A flag's nib. I said nib again. And I. A flag's nib uh, without a breathing hole again. Very nice. At the end of this video, I will upload some stills of writing done with all the pens so you can see what the effect is. A true flag's nib. Very nice. $14 is no money for the quality you get in this pen. Piston filler, which means you cannot screw this end open. You twist this bit and then sort of plunger moves down and moves up. I'll show you that later in another pen with the same system. Very nice pen. Love it. And then the final one in here. That's just a cap. Then the final one in here, I got it, is Noodler's Aromatic. Why is it called aromatic? Well, it has a, 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 a not an old but a classical filling system, uh, which I don't have uh, lying around here. But I've converted to an eyedropper, which is very very easy. You just screw open this end, 
and then you can fill this pen up to about here I think with ink now that's a lot of ink because it's a, it's a fairly big pen this nib by Noodlers does have a breathing hole as you can see very nice pen I'm I'm really enthusiastic about Noodlers but this is this is my absolute favorite pen. It's fairly large. As you can see, I have pretty big hands, but you can see it actually extends, and if you post it, I'm even more so. Um, I love this brown, black, mottled deco, and this pen writes so smoothly. That's really, really cool. $24. Again, that's great value for the money you get. No, that's great value for the quality. Yeah, you get the point, right? 